So my concept on this painting was light and shadow. Um, and my center of interest is up and through here. So how do I make my center of interest important? How do I lead the viewer into my painting um, and show them some uh, interesting things? This fold helps to bring the eye up here. This image here helps to bring the eye up there. The problem could have been that all this color versus the neutral color, this would become important and would take away from what I wanted people to see. So I had to dull those, those colors down. I had to, they're in shadow, so they're darker, the values are closer together, and the colors are much more muted. This area here could have been very um, boring and dull, but I have a variety of colors, but their values are close together, so it still acts as a, as a unit. And this part over here helps to balance and point to, so the viewer comes in and they see this, they come up and they go back around and they come back here. And then there's a little, I didn't want this to point to the canvas next to, to me. People would go, oh, isn't that a nice painting? Uh, so I kind of didn't have really sharp edges, even though that is a, a thin piece of paper. But if I had sharp edges, it would bring attention to that movement going over there. Um, things are relative, so it is a sharp-ish because this is round, has a rounded, softer edge to it. Um, I have more color in through there than I do some of the others. So um, in critiquing a work, you, you want to ask, you know, what was the concept? Where's the center of interest? And how did the painter um, accomplish that? So in this painting, I have that movement, interest, color, uh, center of interest, my light and shadow effect. Um, this helps to bring the eye into that area also. So you know, there's a little text.